Rahman Rahim. Welcome to Aga English Grammar Tips. Today our topic is Educational Research, Unit Number Four, Classification of Educational Research by Method. आज के इस यूनिट में हमने क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एजुकेशनल रिसर्च बाय मेथड को डिस्कस करना है सबसे पहले इसके ऑब्जेक्टिव्स की तरफ चलते हैं ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ द यूनिट डिस्कस द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रिसर्च मेथड एक्सप्लेन द हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च मेथड डिस्क्राइब द डिस्क्रिप्टिव रिसर्च स्पेसिफाई द काउजी एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च एवेलुएट द क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च इंट्रोडक्शन As you know students research in every field is very important research in every field and more so in the field of education is demand of day progress in any field is directly linked with research in that field our problems and difficulties in the field of education further necessitate a purposeful and sustained research effort such research efforts are distinguished on the basis of their different purposes and approaches and that is what may technically be called difference in methods likewise research studies adopting different methods however do not as a rule differ significantly in their procedures selections formulation calculation analysis and interpretation of new data and reporting of the work done or common steps to all types of methods of research as you know students ke isme jo introduction karwaya gaya ke research education department mein bahut zaruri hai so iske procedure selection formulation collection analysis and interpretation of data jo hai iske ye sare tarike jo hai wo uh, alag hote hain so inko shamil karke hi research ko complete kiya ja sakta hai These types of research are classified as historical research, documentary, descriptive research, normative, quasi experimental research, qualitative research. When classified in the above manner, there is not much developing or confusion among the different methods. They are neither mysterious nor utterly complex. Basically, they are simple and founded on common sense. keeping in view the importance of each research method effort has been made to discuss in detail the concept scope and characteristics of various methods research in the unit now what is historical research history se nikla historical research as you know what is the history history is the past of anything आपने किसी भी चीज़ को जब हिस्ट्री वाइज चेक करना है तो उसका किसी पास्ट इंसिडेंट्स को आप चेक चेक करेंगे कि इसके अंदर जो पास्ट में था वो क्या हुआ और जो प्रेजेंट है उसका वो किस तरह जा रहा है तो हिस्ट्री जो है वो हमेशा पास्ट को रिप्रेजेंट करती है सो द यूज़ ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल सोर्स एंड टेक्निक्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ एजुकेशनल रिसर्च इज नॉन एज द हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च मैथड हिस्टोरिकल रिसर्च जस्टिफाइज itself when used to find out the solution of uh, present day problem on the basis of the experiences of the past ye maine aapko pehle bataya tha ki present day ki jitni bhi problems aa rahi hain unko jab aapne pichle experiences ke base pe solve karna hai unka solution dhoondna hai so that is called historical research however the value of historical research in education is given as under it inspires respect for sound scholarship and admiration for great teachers the history of education enables the educational workers to compete present educational problem in the light of their origin and growth number 3 past educational experiences may my may serve as a basis for tentative generalization in analyzing analyzing current educational issues and problem historical research has certain characteristic which are given below number 1 it is based on reports of observation which cannot be repeated it is liable to be subjective in history rational process of 
analysis and inference is verbalized science predicts the future course of events and history uses preserve evidence to retrodict the past there are three main steps involved in historical research these include number 1 the collection of data through primary and secondary sources number 2 it involves internal and external criticism of the data collected number 3 presentation of facts which involves problem of organization composition exposition and interpretations in collecting data of historical research the sources are normally classified into two main categories number 1 primary sources and number 2 secondary sources primary sources what are the primary sources primary sources are those original documents which are the first witness attacked however some include information in the form of oral or written testimonial or the records written or preserved by actual participants or witnesses of an event for example charters official records constitutions court decisions autobiographies diaries letters pictures films painting books and recording etc other primary sources include remain or relics tools weapons household articles cloth etc secondary sources are sources of information transmitted by one who was not present on the scene of the original event yani yahan par aap dekh le ki primary ko agar hum discuss kare तो प्राइमरी में जो विटनेसेस हैं आई विटनेसेस हैं जो फर्स्ट विटनेसेस हैं दीज आर कॉल्ड द प्राइमरी सोर्सेज एंड द सेकेंडरी सोर्सेज में जब आप देखते हैं तो सेकेंडरी सोर्सेज ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्रांसमिटेड बाय वन हु वाज नॉट प्रेजेंट जो प्रेजेंट नहीं था ऑन द सीन ऑफ द ओरिजिनल इवेंट ही वॉज नीदर अ पार्टिसिपेंट नॉर एन आई विटनेस ऑफ द ओरिजिनल इवेंट इनफैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन सप्लाइड इन सेकेंड हैंड मोस्ट ऑफ द encyclopedias and history textbooks come under the category of uh, secondary sources the secondary sources sometimes prove very helpful as they provide information about primary sources moreover the historical report writing involves the mechanical problem of documentation number 2 the logical problem of selecting the topics number 3 the logical problem of arrangement of topics and subtopics and the philosophical problems of interpretations however the following guidelines should be observed in the historical research the primary source sources should be used as extensively as possible primary sources ko jitna zyada istemal kiya ja sake unhe karna chahiye पर्सनल बाइस शुड नॉट बी अलाउड इन इन्फ्लुएंस रिसर्च प्रोसीजर जब भी आप बाइस हो जाएंगे तो आप रिसर्च नहीं कर सकते सो पर्सनल बाइस शुड नॉट बी अलाउड टू इन्फ्लुएंस रिसर्च प्रोसीजर सारी रिसर्च आपकी खराब हो जाएगी अगर आप बाइस हो जाते हैं तो प्रॉपर रिकोगशन शुड बी गिवन टू द इंटर रिलेशनशिप ऑफ एजुकेशन विद अदर सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड फोर्सेज द सिग्निफिकेंट फैक्ट्स मस्ट बी डिस्टिंग फ्राम trivial or range facts in a situation the facts should be synthesized and integrated into meaningful generalizations care should be taken in interpreting the words and expression in the light of their usage in early times now descriptive research this type of research is also called normative research survey research it concerns itself with the present phenomena in the term of condition practices beliefs process relationships or tense is variously termed as descriptive survey status normative or trend study or survey descriptive research has the following characteristics number 1 it is concerned not with the characteristics of individuals 
but with the characteristics of the whole population or a sample thereof. It collects data from a relative large number of subjects. It provides information useful to the solution of local problems. Its scope is very vast. Survey may be qualitative of or quantitative. Descriptions may be either verbal or expressed in mathematical terms. In solving a problem, one has to evaluate the present conditions and then seek information concerning what we may want and how to reach there. Normative or survey research may involve one of more of these elements in the different situations. Descriptive research helps in locating existing problems yani problem kis jagah pe aa rahi hai hamari help karti hai ye in securing historical perspective through a series of cross sectional pictures of similar condition at different times in suggesting the course of future developments in developing many tools in contributing to the advancement of knowledge and in providing the background ideas and data from which many more studies may be conducted such studies are factual and hence supply practical information these researches employ applications of a scientific method by critically analyzing and examining the source material by analyzing interpreting data and by arriving at generalization and predictions descriptive research classifications survey studies case studies developmental studies follow up studies correlation studies trend analysis and documentary analysis benefits of descriptive research in distance education in the system of distance education this type of research is quite useful as it is helps in making survey concerning aims outcomes of instructional programs survey concerning administrative problem of procedure moreover institutions appraisal financial study building survey staff development training survey and teacher training survey can be conducted by this research method the following stages are involved in the planning and the preparation of the final report नंबर वन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ जनरल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स सबसे पहले आपने जनरल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स बताने हैं फिर आपने स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्टिव्स बताने हैं डिटर्मिनेशंस डिटर्मिनेशंस ऑफ द साइज एंड डिजाइन ऑफ द सैंपल प्रिपरेशन एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिंग ऑफ अ क्वेश्चनर डिटरमाइनिंग एंड कंडक्टिंग इंटरव्यूज मेकिंग एनालिसिस प्लान मशीन टेबलेशन एनालाइजिंग रिपोर्टिंग Now, experimental research. What is experimental research? J. W. Bass in 1992, page number 110, describes experimental research as the description and analysis of what will be or what will occur under carefully controlled condition, according to Carter V. Good and uh, Douglas E. Sikates, 1954, page 80, 809. Experimentation is the name uh, given. to the type of educational research in which the investigator controls the educative factors to which a child or a group of ch- children is subjected during the period of inquiry and observes the resulting achievements yani experimental research mein jab aapne ek student ko lena hai ya zyada students ke group ko lena hai to uske andar kya changes aaye उसकी इंक्वायरी आपने की क्या क्या कुछ आपने ऑब्जर्व किया ये सारा एक्सपेरिमेंटल रिसर्च में आएगा द एसेंस ऑफ एन एक्सपेरिमेंटल मे बी डिस्क्राइब एज ऑब्जर्विंग द अफेक्ट ऑफ ऑन द डिपेंडिंग वेरिएबल ऑफ द मैनिपुलेशन ऑफ एन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल हुआ द एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन इन एजुकेशन इज यूजफुल टू डिटरमाइन एंड एवेलुएट द एडिकेसी एंड अफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ एजुकेशनल एम and objectives through the measurement of outcomes it serves as basis for the formulation execution and modification of educational policy and 
programs it is further used to ascertain the effect of any change in the normal education program and practice steps in experimental research number 1 state a research problem number 2 determine if experimental methods apply specify the independent variables specify the dependent variable state the tentative hypothesis determine measures to be used pause to consider potential success identify intervening extraneous variables formal statement of research hypothesis design the experiment final uh, estimate of uh, potential success conduct the study as planned analyze the collected data prepare a research report number 1 an experiment calls for the satisfaction of three basic interrelated conditions number 1 control number 2 randomization and repli- number 4 replication control number 1 control is the basic element of experimentations the influence of uh, extraneous factors that are not included in the hypothesis are prevented from operating and confusing the outcomes which is to be appraised three type of controls are exercised in an experiment these include physical control selective control statistical control randomization what is randomization in experimental research randomization is very difficult to exercise complete control efforts are made to assign cases in the experimental and control groups randomly number 3 replication implies conducting a number of sub experiments within the framework of an overall experimental design that is example of ethical issues to consider when planning an experimental study number 1 jo iska sabse pehle topic aa raha hai study topic is the study really necessary equipoise is an experimental design truly necessary recruitment is the source population and appropriate and justifiable one is the inducement to participate appropriate do participants truly understand that they may not receive the active intervention interventions is it appropriate to use a place bow is it appropriate to use some other control data collection how will adverse outcomes be monitored monitored and addressed when might an experiment need to be discontinued early follow up what happens if a participant experiences study related harm after the conclusion of the study will participants have continuing access to the therapy if it is shown to be successful difficulties with experimental research experimental research experimentations in education is not a perfectly precise method there are many variables in education which are extremely difficult or even impossible to control the basic conditions of other things being equal is difficult for fulfillment in educational research all the experiments in education are ultimately experiments with children who are ethical reasons must not be subjected to conditions that may harm them there are there are boundaries of a moral character of for experimentation which must not be infringed there are many areas in which experimental studies in education can approximate strictly empirical research for example the teaching of spelling through different methods 
difference between the effort of uh, the authoritarian and the democratic setup in education are problems which have been handled in a scientific way through the experimental approach classification of experimental design number 1 single design parallel design and rotational methods the detail of all the uh, such uh, design are discussed below single design what is single design this type of experiment is carried in comparing the growth of a single individual or group under two sets of conditions number 2 the experimenter observe the performance of the individual or the group before and after the introduction of the experimental variable let us say that the experimenter is interested in evaluating the reading speed of a group of 6th class student as affected by training he will adopt the steps like test the group allow for a period of transitions and test the group again parallel or equivalent group design in this two or more groups of subject equivalent in all significant aspects are selected one of these groups surveys as the control group and the others as experimental group rotation groups experimentation this method involves the rotation of instructional factors of the experimental and control groups equal intervals this method is used to obtain control of people people factors when groups cannot be thoroughly equated it also neutralizes the teacher a variables of the three designs of educational experimentation this is the most valid and at the same time most complicated thank you if you like the video kindly subscribe the channel like the video and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you allah hafiz